The only way to dispel darkness is by introducing light. So I'm stopping by today to help introduce a little light into your morning and to encourage you to do the same thing. Don't just take all the light in, but share some light. Let's turn the light on for some people around us today. Uh, share, comment, post, repost, do all of that. Don't just be a recipient, but be a giver of some light and an introducer of light to the dark world that's all around us. Today, we're looking at Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. It says this, My old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Paul here is writing, and it's this statement, for I'm crucified with Christ, but yet... I live. And he's saying that that he goes through this process, he has gone through this process where he's not living to himself, he's not living according to his flesh, but he's living according to God's plan for his life. He's crucified, he died out to himself so that he can live and be all that God wants him to be. The life that is promised to us is one that is greater than we are fully aware of. It is one that is greater than where we currently find ourselves. But the only way to obtain that life that Christ has for us, that God has for us, that he gave himself in order to prepare for us, is by dying out to his purpose. That means crucifying ourselves. That means dying in the flesh. Now, I know that when we say that, it begins to get uncomfortable because nobody wants to endure pain. I'm not talking about a physical crucifixion. However, I am talking about dying out to our way of seeing things, our way of doing things, our belief system on things in order to embrace his way of doing things, his way of seeing things, his belief system on things. Here's the thing about dying on a cross. You don't die from just looking at it. You don't die from just uh, hanging or from just touching it. You die from hanging on a cross. You die after you have been nailed to the cross for an extended time, after uh, you are unable to continue to breathe. The crucifixion on a cross is not a uh, easy one. It is a painful one. But there's a truth that was brought to my attention a couple years ago by a friend when he was preaching a message and he said this. He said, you cannot hang yourself to a cross. You need somebody else's help. Why? Because I could put a nail in this hand, I could put a nail in my feet, but I'm going to reach a point where I have to let go of the hammer and somebody else has to come along and put that nail in my hand that is now the only one available. Here is what dying being crucified with Christ looks like. It looks like enduring things from people that we may not want to, but it's for a greater purpose. Today, I'm not saying that you should be anyone's beating case or, or whipping post, but I am saying this. In our responses today, consider whether or not you are being crucified with Christ. Are you taking on your ideas and your mentality of this is how I should be treated, this is how I should be handled? Or are you instead saying, God, I'm not going to let this cause me to become angry with you or with anyone else, but instead I'm trusting you to accomplish something out of this that gets me closer to your purpose and your plan for my life. Be encouraged today. Let me turn the light on for you. Everything that happens to you is not because God is angry with you, but it's oftentimes God allowing it to happen for a greater purpose purpose. So find the greater purpose in the trouble that you're going through today. Be crucified with Christ so that you can live with Christ, so that you can lay down this flesh and pick up that new mind, that new uh, whole way and perspective of seeing and going through life. God bless you. I love you. Take some time to share, comment, post, repost. Don't just keep this to yourself. God bless you. Love you. Have a wonderful day.